Nest Podcast. Today is a patron voted episode. We're going to be playing around with some guitar pedals. You may have heard me click one on. Unfortunately, I discovered some of my 9 volt power supply little wall wart things are not working. I've got one working one. So I need to buy some more, which is annoying, but I've got one working, which means we get to explore this DIY guitar pedal that I actually made, which is an MXR blue box clone. Basically gives like a sub octave fuzz kind of effect. And this is what it sounds like. got the black wavetable VCO going through it currently with some modulation on the wave CV coming from the DIY swamp stepped output. And so the phase lock loop of the blue box or maybe it's not a phase lock loop. It's something kind of like can kind of drift or catch differently on the different waveforms as the wavetable kind of changes and it just gives this cool kind of 8-bit sound. I'm gonna turn up the fuzz and the actual oscillator down. So you can hear it is basically just a square wave. You'll hear like portions of it kind of almost sound like noise where they're like sliding real quick between notes. I just think it has a really cool sound characteristic. And yeah, I like hearing it with both the oscillator and the square wave too. I should remind everyone there are video versions of the podcast on my YouTube link in the show description. Unfortunately, I can't fit the guitar pedals in frame with the modular. I realized that today as well. But to break down the rest of this patch, we're using an ornament in crime in hemispheres firmware using the shift register app to sequence the black white tilt VCO using the Pico R&D as our master clock that's clocking the mimeophone and the DIY swamp we're getting our triggers for our notes from the random pulse out and I'm using the sample and hold out attenuated through the Vinter Crystal VCA to modulate the decay of our envelope which is coming from the rampage Just changed the wave on the black wave tool VCO and sounds different but cool. I'm gonna just kind of mess around with that for a minute. Uh, 
This is a fun effect, but I want to explore some of the other guitar pedals I have. I think the most interesting one might be the freeze pedal. So here's our oscillator sound again, just with some delay from the mimeophone. Now what's cool about this is we can just kind of take this signal and do something else with it and have our regular oscillator signal kind of do its own thing.
So yeah, you can create a bunch of cool frozen textures. Right now I'm using just the clock pulse to get an envelope, another envelope from the rampage. I'm just using that to kind of give it a pulse. So it's not just like droning. And then I'm going into the Dismodus Versio for some reverb. And then I, you know, was interjecting the synth signal back in so I could freeze a different part of it. Just for funsies. I've now cranked the mimeophone zone and just turned down the synth sound and cranked the repeats. So it's feeding back on itself into the long mimeophone zones again. Just kind of where, where the freeze took us, took us into a way more ambient space.
interjecting some synth back into the mimeophone loop. And I've also got the handy dandy moisturizer for some spring sounds. got a lovely drone from the Cursus Ateritas going into the Ekdal Moisturizer. We've just got the reverb mixture cranked, so you're not really hearing the Cursus itself too much. You're just hearing those springs being driven by that sound. That's more the sound the Cursus is actually making.
I hope you enjoy the kind of drone direction this took with the freeze pedal. I will probably revisit this concept once I have more 9 volt wall warts for my pedals. I've got a delay pedal and a reverb pedal that I didn't use and also a tube screamer distortion pedal that I built. I also didn't use because it's not in the pedal case with all my other pedals so I'll have to figure out where that went. But in the meantime, thank you for listening and thank you to the patrons who voted on this episode. Shout out to Gray Series, David Johnson, Patrick O'Brien, Joby Springsteen, Tom Davis, Synthador, Rick Post, Tomislav Oliver, Tiny Frames, John Bruce, James M. Bland, and Steve DeSamos. You guys are awesome for supporting this show. If you'd like to get bonus episodes, patch notes, or vote in the polls, head on over to patreon.com slash nullphiinfinity. That's N-U-L-L-P-H-I infinity. And I'll catch you next week for more patching.